I heard you bitches was looking oh, for me. Yes. <laughs> Man, it's been so long since we've done a proper TikTok. Segment. It has been a hot minute. It has been. Yeah. It's Have like, you missed them? Yeah. Well, it's like you continue to curate. You're just not <laughs> having your work displayed. Is that what it feels like? Yeah. So, I mean, I've been doing the work and, you know, I like. No one's looking at me. No one's looking at me. Yeah. And I'd like to be rewarded. I'm fucking stoked to share these with you guys. Let's go. Let's get Let's get into it. You ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Station. Ah, oh, man, just a good old-fashioned, oh, wowzers. So so it starts off with this woman on the bus or in the train, and she's she's got her foot, the shoe dangling off the bare foot, and then she's she touches the bare foot, gives it a whiff, gives the fingers a whiff, goes back in for an intensive rub, and then takes a piece of skin and puts peels, it. Peels off a chunk of skin. And, and puts it, it in her mouth. Eats it, yeah. And right away, yeah, you, your mind goes cool. to the fact that you know that she's been doing this for like 40 years. <laughs> it's her thing. For sure. Yeah. She, she started this as a kid. She digs it. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. That's wild. Right. Yeah. I never heard of people eating their foot skin. Oh, my God. I've never even heard of such a thing. Mm. And now you've seen it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I thought the finger whiff was bad enough. I mean, I've chewed on finger skin for years. Yeah, that's delectable. It's a tough habit to break. Yeah. But I've done pretty well. I love chewing finger skin. Yeah, but foot skin is a fucking that's other level. That's different because it's sweaty. It's in. It's crammed into that yeah. shoe. I mean, it's also you're, you're, peeling, you know, you're peeling dead skin off of your foot right. and eating it. Well, and it, here's the thing. When you're biting your finger meats yeah it's really it's like you're not doing it for the chew after like yeah. for that yeah. i'm doing it for like i bite off i might give it one and yeah. then pff, uh, like out it's a it's a nervous tick i mean this is clearly she's she's reading as as that's the thing is that she's actually distracted so she does it Ugh. you can tell it's like her nervous thing that she probably has done i think probably since she was a kid yes it's fucking rough yeah her unconscious it's rough to eat it to eat it she's eating it yeah the finger whiff ain't so bad you're like well who is that hasn't? first thing a whiff i thought that oh. was a bite too oh it, i i thought it was a whiff let's Station. let's go back Look, peel eat now she's eating holy shit she's eating that from the beginning <sighs> dude this whole thing just changed for me <laughs> yeah like this th i thought and what it, happens there is that when she goes when she goes back she's going for a bigger piece and she peels that piece off Wow, this just changed everything. Like you think I, it was just a? Oh, you thought it was just a smell at well, first. Well, I, I thought it was she gave everyone. A whiff. Was, everybody gives things a whiff. Yeah, right? and that's why I was like, okay. You she ever stick that thumb right there in the crease, right by your balls, and you go, like, nope. You never, of course. Look at him nodding because yeah. there's one honest guy in the booth. One honest guy. See, and he's usually everybody with smells. Us. Everybody takes. You a You gotta whiff. take a whiff of your bits. You don't whiff your stuff ever. You gotta whiff your stuff ever. Not this, not my sweaty balls. Yes, you should. That's the best place to whip. That's the best time. Yeah. Because no, I know it's always going to be like, yep, that smells gross. Like yeah. it's, it's yeah, never going to be you like. You never smell gross yeah, stuff? Yeah, but you need no, it. No, no, no. Like there is sometimes I have, like the only thing on my body that I do smell that's like, oh, that's fucking disgusting. And I know it is, is like when I clean out my belly button. I love oh, that Oh, you'll smell one. that. I'll smell yeah. that. I'm like, Jesus. Interesting. Because yeah. I don't smell that. Really? I don't smell that. If I've if I've not worn deodorant, I'll go like that and I'll smell and I'll be like, Jesus. But that's like a check. You got to do that. That's yeah. a check. But you're also kind of like seeing what the status is. You're like, that's fucking, you know, there's days where you're like that. I really need to get in the shower. Um, yes. But anything that like, if uh, if I left a shirt that I had sweat in, I'll see it like, yeah. what, and I'll be like, oh, that's bad. You know? Or, I enjoy it. I, yeah, I like a, to there's verify. There's a little bit of like, well, you know. Because you're like, this is crazy that but this most, smells this bad. Most, above all, is balls. That's what I, you know. That's your jam. I always go like. Yeah, really get in there. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm glad you do because you're, you're whiff testing and then it benefits me. Because I'm sure if it's really bad, then you're not going to bring those balls into my area and my face. Because I've never like whiffed mm. them real bad. <laughs> 
Um, but, but again, but to to eat the foot skin, I didn't realize because I thought this this was ramping up to eating it. But you're telling me she opens on a foot skin she, peel. Yeah, she, she scratches and peels. This is a totally different. She's story. literally doing the, you know, right. this like, but on her on her foot. On her foot, yeah. yeah. I, I would. Maybe that there's skin. like uh, there's some case to be made that this everybody sees, so that's gross because they see your damaged paws, right? Yeah. No one's seeing the bottom, but it's just, it's fucking, I just, it's intense. I just think the foot skin, like, again, like she's wearing like ba ballet flats, I think, yeah. or kitten heels without any kind of sock or anything. Yeah. Like those are generally, that's how bacteria breeds. Yeah, it's no, a it's smelly place. It's, 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 it's worn out. It's, it's, yeah. It's smelly. It's not clean. It, like your fingers, your digits aren't smelly. No. You, so yeah. like, this is different. Not it's unless like, you just rubbed your balls. <laughs> Then it's a twofer. Do yeah. you ever do that where you've forgotten that you've whiffed? Oh, sure. And then you go, oh, God. Yeah, for And sure. you smell your ball. Or you eat Please. your balls. 30 years of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I do want to uh, see what smells. Yeah. I love seeing what smells. Yeah. It's fun. It's a fun game, especially because you, like, I can't believe that I make those smells. You're like, yeah. how is this happening? Yeah. Oof. It's so gross. We're so it. disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Well, this is a fun. Okay, next one. Here we go. This is a, a fart that I begged back in 2016. Oh, Jesus. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a whiff. So good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was the best. TikTok ever. I think you sent this to me. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, where has this been all our lives? I, I feel don't know. Like Does he do nothing but this? Have you, did you do a dive on him? No, I think it was just sent in. Like this was the front half of the of the batch that Zolo. But if I know, but if you if you pick uh, his TikTok, is that you know whatever it says? Dusty there. loves food. Let's go see if he's got other farts that he's vintage. I mean, that's like. crazy. That was rad. Like a six year old fart. Yeah. <laughs> that he really took care of. <laughs> Fart 2016 is all it said. <gasps> There's more. Yeah, but I don't know what, what oh, else he's doing. Oh, man. Oh, my God. What's this guy doing? Dude, there should be a guy who just keeps their his farts Let's and see. sniffs them. You're a pickle living in my world. The next one. Go to the next one. What's this? Oh, man. Oh, it's Vienna sausage can juice. He's going to drink, drink it. I'm going to puke. This is not okay. I don't like this at all. Dude, bro, oh, homie. It's you know what he is doing, you. though? He is filling the void of King Gas Ripper. Kind of, yeah. I mean, this guy's got ass, ass oh. rip vibes. Oh. Hot dog water, dude. Oh. Hot dog water. No. La, 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 la. Two out of ten. <laughs> okay, go go back to his main page, like the the whole grid there. Oh, this guy's great. Yeah, the fart. That's the one there. I, I think he's only got that one fart. That's pretty crazy. Dude, that got six point two million views. It sure did. He really needs to start doing more of these vintage fart vids. Yeah. Oof. God, I was like, where has this TikTok been my whole life? Oh, I feel like God. you should start doing that. I bet you you could sell your farts to people. You think so? I think you're famous enough that. That people will buy your farts. I don't know, if dude. I is that a business that. yet? Can I sell farts? You, you can, can definitely, yeah. But is it legal, like, to send a fart through the mail? I'm sure. Isn't there some kind of thing against? Ugh. Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it illegal to mail a fart to somebody? I can't see a reason why it would be. Yeah, I mean, maybe <laughs> maybe it'd be fraud because it would dissipate by the time it got there. Not necessarily. I think you just fart into a glass jar. A jar. Yeah. But that Ziploc bag maintains. But that's going to pop. So oh. you do it in the jar. Seal huh. the jar. Money on the table. There sure is. Would you date a trans person? No. no. Honestly? Think about it for a second. No. no. <laughs> okay. Got your answer? No. No. I didn't need a second. Thank you. Well, if you said no, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. I'm done. <laughs> Where are you going? 
there's no discrimination in what I said. I wouldn't date that person that has a penis. <laughs> How great was that? They were like, no. But no. <laughs> well, that does, does bring up an important question. I mean, why aren't you allowed to discriminate against what you're physically, viscerally well, it's, attracted it's, it's, to? It's of course you're allowed to, and it shouldn't be considered discrimination. No. You know, discrimination is like you're not allowed into this store. Yeah. You know, you're not allowed to do things that everyone, but I'm, I don't want to date you. That's not discrimination. Yeah, it's just select. You don't. Like you're, that's not you're your thing. You're attracted to what you're attracted to. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. You can't reason your way out of it. You don't want a, a woman with a shaved head, then you're discriminating. It's like what? I'm not attracted to it. Though. Yeah. Yeah. I just love their quick reaction. They're both it's just hilarious. like, no, it's hilarious. No, no, don't care. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's pretty discriminatory. They're like, all right. Okay. I like this person is is actually like giving you a pitch on why you should like dicks. Like it's cool. <laughs> like. That's the sales pitch. You should consider a dick in your life. Well, like, uh, what? I think okay. So, but what if they didn't? Okay, so what if they don't have a dick anymore? Well, yeah, but still, like, like it, it was a biological male, and you can be like, yeah, but that's just that in and of itself is too unappealing. I mean, you should be allowed to say that. Some people it doesn't affect them, and they should be allowed to. Of course, should be able, but like as far as when what you're attracted to, the fact that anybody else would chime in on any part of you being attracted or not attracted to something, it's crazy. Like I'm it's not, crazy talk. I'm not, yeah, I agree. It's not that you're, it's just, it doesn't ring your bell and that's fine. That's yeah, fucking it fine. It can't be, it's not a discriminant. Cause I was just thinking to myself, okay, would I be sexually attracted to Buck Angel? And I'm like, I don't know. Can you bring up Buck Angel? Let me look at a picture of him. Cause I'm like, am I? But then hold on, is Buck Angel my type of guy? I mean, he's, he's jacked. No, yeah, I don't know. Tatted up. But then if I know that he's been a woman before, that and still has a vagina. Me. Oh, he still has a badge. Oh yeah, that's the whole thing. Oh, then yeah, yeah, no, I don't want that. No, I need a peener. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. I can't I don't do think, it. I don't think that's discriminatory. Really. No, and I admire Buck Angel. I I think it's cool, but it's not for me. Yeah. I think it's that's fine. Me. I mean, usually people are just allowed to say like, oh, I, you know, if someone could say like, I like dating black women or I, I date Asian women or I oh, like blondes. Yeah. And that's supposed to be fine for someone to state their preferences. <clears throat> that's right. Right. And if you go, oh, I'm not into that. I mean, are you discriminating or are you just like, this is just what I'm attracted to. Good argument, Tom. You know? So if you say, yeah. So if you're like, I'm not attracted to white ladies, you're not that's generally ex accepted as okay to say. Yeah. Yeah. You're just not into white ladies. Yeah. Totally fine. There you go. All right. Look at him. Dang. When the power is out, there's still going to be burgers and dogs. There's still going to be a hurricane party, even if it only ends up being a tropical storm. I'm prepared and ready to go. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> She's pretty cool. Are you focused on the barbecue or something else? I just like that <laughs> it's, it's for sure like a friend's mom. You know, it has, it has like real mom vibes. Yeah. And... She's actually showing you that she's handy, mm -hmm. like knows how to prepare for mm -hmm. whatever the storm coming. And she has on overalls and nothing underneath and her big fake tits are <laughs> popping out of the side. And her handle is big TT Maggie, big titty Maggie. Maggie with two E's, all stupid and slut like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Maggie yeah. with two E's. But you know, she's putting out her, you know, her tit energy. Big yep. tit energy, big fake, big fake tit energy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it struck me in the beginning because she is wearing a bikini top, if you'll notice, but she's pulled the bikini top to the side so that it's just her tits against the denim, which yeah. is such an odd. It doesn't I mean, feel it's, good. It's a deliberate choice. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. Because like work denim is also rougher. Yes. It's not soft denim. No. No, and you know, I yeah, it just it struck me as such an odd choice. I love these TikToks where the older, like the the sexualized, milfs, yeah, yeah, they always have in her sixties or something. Yes, yeah. the the oversexed, yeah, like sixties woman yeah. is fantastic. It's yeah. such a great lane. I want to know the I um, love these. psychological origin of that because like, that's always yes. a fascinating thing to yes. learn. Like what is because you know I have a theory. What is it? Because for men, it feels like it gets discussed more. You know. Oh, because, yes, the man yes, that that's is a good point. constantly um, 
stays hypersexual into older age and you realize that he's <laughs> trying to, he's just taking a dose of things trying to fill and he stays empty and unfulfilled and, mm -hmm. you know, eventually is usually alone. Right. Yeah. This is like a different, it's kind of a different vibe, but it's also because most women take a natural path as do most, most men, which is as you age, you kind of, like de-escalate your sexuality. Yeah. It become, you know, most, most people get more conservative as they get older. Right? Correct. And this is almost like the fear that the sexuality is no longer the first thing that you identify See, with. See, I, here's what's happening. Here's what I think is happening. Yeah. So like right, what you said is a hundred percent accurate that the oversexed 60 something year old male is depressing and sad. And it makes you sad and depressed because it's hollow because he's been that guy his whole life and probably never had a family and kids and a life. Yeah. This, this type of lady has had the husband, had the children, has given her entire youth and life to raising kids and the ah. husband. And now that her children are out of the nest, they're in college, she's finally single. Maybe she got a divorce or maybe she's still with the same man, but now she's finally, it's me. It's oh, my turn. And celebrate me and, and make me feel desirable. Because I hot, didn't because do I put that. It on, on the back burner. Yes, because my 20s and 30s were yeah. spent raising children or whatever. And now it's, this is my time. And I've taken good care of myself. I had the mom boob job. Job and I'm going to show it off. Yeah, that's what I think is is this time. And she looks great. Yeah, in true. her defense and her fair, whatever. She looks great. She um, but I herself. I love the nonchalantness. There's that other woman that was like, I'm yeah. just cutting beef, and her boobs were like wagging everywhere. Yeah. And you're like, bitch, you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. So there's this other lane. It's great. I I don't have it prepped, but I'll tell you, there's another lane <laughs> that, I'm, uh, that I've been sending to uh, Zola to prep for, <laughs> what is that? I don't even want to tell you. It's, oh, just, it's a lane of what? sexuality that's happening online that's very funny to me because it's presented as something else. That's my favorite oh, kind. Oh, yes. There's direct just hoeing. We're like, I'm a hoe. Here's photos of me. But a funnier thing is to me is to be like, I like yard work. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like I'm just going to show you how to what? fix stuff. Right. Your yard. And then if someone's like, Look at those big old tits. And then yeah. someone, she would be like, uh, how about we just focus on my yard work? Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, or yeah. the best is like somebody who defends her. Hey man, Maggie's like, <laughs> Maggie's showing us how to paint, you know? And you're like, okay, buddy. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Leave her alone. Guys. Leave her alone. Like, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. But I like Maggie's big tits. So, you know. Yeah, no. Congratulations and to Maggie she, on your great big old tits. Yeah, maybe she's hooking up with dudes this way. I don't know. Sure. Maybe I'm sure. She well, she's getting a lot are. of attention. Maybe that's what feels really I good. I think that's what it is. People like attention. Yeah, because that's a very suburban setting. Yeah. She's, she's been a good mommy. And for sure the neighbors know, Oh, which is hilarious. That's kind of the funniest thing of all. It was like, do you see Maggie? <laughs> yeah, dude. Doing her videos? <laughs> yeah, dude. Saw her out front. I asked her if you could please film, film in the backyard. <laughs> Maggie and her tit videos. Yes. She's got a big TikTok following. What She's the fuck got. is TikTok? What is TikTok? Yeah. Ooh, mommy, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim. Okay? Try it out. Be her.